regular pump gas damn okay so here we are at the e85 station and got my jug usually i come here about once a month and looks like e85 prices are 233 oh excuse me a gallon e85 station right there as you can see all blown out uh, but yeah we're just gonna fill up looks like it's not gonna be full e85 usually this station usually runs between 70 and 80 and around 60 in the winter time so good enough for me so so these are the jugs I use. These are the typical VP jugs a lot of you guys use. And luckily, these things hold, these are five gallon jugs, but they hold a little more or a little over the six gallons, which is not bad. All right, got my jugs filled up in total 12 gallons. Really not that much. I still have three of more of these VP jugs sitting at home, but now it's time to fill up the tank. All right, $57 in total, really not that bad. Close this Let's see where ethanol content is. Oh yeah. Look at that, weather is absolutely perfect today. A few clouds up in there, but you know, that's okay. It's about 65 degrees out right now. God, a good day of work on the car. Ah, get out of the way. Okay. So we have a viewer requested video for you guys today. You guys are loving these detailing videos for some reason, but this was requested by you guys. You guys requested that I try this, um, but let me just get right to it. This is a foam gun coming from a company called Matt CC. I think you can get this on Amazon. If you can get it on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below. Full disclosure, this company did send it out to me and it's been sitting in my garage for a long time now. So I figured, you know, I just go through my garage, look for it and try it out for you guys. In fact, I might give this away to one of you guys. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let me give this away to you guys. Comment down in the description below. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I'll just pick one random person and I'll ship this out to you guys. Must be in the U.S. though. No overseas stuff. Uh, but yeah, I already know that I am probably not going to like this. I prefer a foam, a foam cannon with a pressure washer. But I totally understand there may be some of you guys out there that may live in an apartment complex or something. You don't have access um, to electricity to where you live. Totally understand. But I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Probably even compare this to a foam cannon. And then yeah, let me just get right to it. Might be a short video. So I don't know. No, we'll see but before we go any further let's see what is in the box i haven't opened this yet it's still sealed actually let me not do that let's see we have an adapter we have this thing robber looks like it comes with everything you need and the actual canister itself and instructions which you probably won't read How do you put this damn thing together? Okay, it looks like we have an adjustment nozzle, zero, E, D, A, B, C, D, E. Cool, all right. I guess this hooks up to your garden hose. A little filter right there. Oh, it's a quick disconnect, that's cool. Awesome, quick disconnect. Love quick, quick disconnects, but it's brass, not stainless steel, obviously. What is this thing? I haven't used one of these in a while. Got this canister, we got this little tube. It sucks out the, little, the soap from the bottom. I think that's it. So we'll, I think we'll fill this up to about 100, 150 uh, milliliters of soap and the rest with uh, some warm water. And it looks like, looks like this piece goes right to the bottom. I think this is a quick disconnect fitting. So if you have a quick disconnect fitting on your hose, I think, yeah, that would be so much better. I love quick disconnects. A lot of people ask what pressure washer I use. Well, this is it. This is a Greenworks. It's a 2000 PSI pressure washer. I don't know the exact model name of it. All right, so we got our hose attachment attached. Well, it's a little dark. You guys can't even see that, but that's all right. You guys got the idea. We'll just quick disconnect it to here. That should be it. I'm trying to read the instructions here. What the hell? It says first flush the vehicle wholly with this water gun. What are they talking about? All right, so we're gonna use some mega foam. I spilled a little bit and we're gonna try that for this demonstration. This is actually not a bad soap, produces a lot of foam. I prefer the regular old classic Adams. That's just me. And then we're gonna fill this up with water and give you guys a quick demo. All right, get everything filled up with Adams mega foam and some warm water. When you do put water in here, make sure you, oh God. Make sure you fill it up sideways like you're pouring a beer. Otherwise this whole thing is just gonna foam up on you and you won't be able to get a whole bunch of water in there. All right, let's give this a try. All right, Matt CC, show me what you got. But before we do, let's turn this thing up. Turn it all the way up to A, B, C, D, E, zero. 
I guess E is more more foam. Let's rinse down the car first. I don't know if you guys can see that, but wow, there is a lot of pollen on the car. I guess it is pollen season. Holy crap. The car's been outside for like 20 minutes. It's just covered in pollen. There might be no point in doing this, boys and girls. I got nothing else better to do. All right, stick this on there. Oh, that's not bad. Look at that, definitely nothing like a, like a foam cannon. Just a decent amount of foam though, for just regular hose pressure. Oh, not bad. Heh, that is not bad at all. How much does this thing cost? Yeah, I can work with that. Definitely nothing like a foam gun or a foam cannon. But yeah, I mean, I think that's good enough. I mean, I don't think you really need any more than that. Uh, I think a foam cannon is just actually more fun to play with. The novelty of it is actually much better than this. But yeah, I think this would be sufficient enough for you. Get your couple buckets out and start washing. Really don't need much more than this. But as you guys can see, in just that little spray, I already used up most of the bottle. Now, truth be told, with the foam cannon, with the pressure washer, I can do the whole car twice over uh, with just one bottle of this. I already used up a whole bunch. But I think if you use, ex use it sparingly, I think you can get the whole car with this. All right, let's give you guys a POV. Not that kind of POV, you sick bastards. Look at that. Not bad. I'm almost out of soap, though. So I think one bottle would probably quote unquote foam up a car, a full car, unless you have like a big giant excursion or something like that. But yeah, there you go, Massey C Foam Gun. Link is in the description below if you're interested in something like this. I'll give this away to one of you guys. Don't forget to comment, follow me on Instagram, down in the description below. And we'll, let's compare this to the foam cannon. Oh yeah, look at that ceramic coating in action. Look at that. Love it. Okay, here you go, back with the POV camera. All right, same type of soap, Adam's Mega Foam, and we're just gonna compare the differences side by side between this and the uh, foam gun. Oh yeah, it's not even a comparison. Look at that. My pressure washer is running low on pressure, which is why it's not producing as much foam as it used to. I think I may, may, may need to get a new one. Maybe a Krenzla pressure washer, maybe. All right, let's go to the front. There you go. Not even comparison. On a dying pressure washer, much better foam. It's probably blown out right now because the camera settings are set to normal. Yeah. It was Look all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock to my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Either one is fine. I mean, you don't really need a whole bunch of foam to wash your car. But anyways, that is it. Foam gun versus foam cannon. Anyways. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys' support. Don't forget to comment so I can give this thing away to you, one of you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. So we're out here at the spot. Figured, you know, we're at home. We got nothing else to do. Phil's out here with us. Say what up, Phil. What up? We'll call us the, the quarantine hangout cruise, whatever. For sure. Yeah. You gotta get out of the house. But you still see people out like behind you. Keep our distance. Yeah. Be in our cars. Hell yeah, bro. Always love this spot. Dude, look at it. It's low tide right now. You can see way the hell out there. Oh, dude, look at this. This is sweet. Dope.
There's like nothing out here too. Like, yeah. You know, like there's no reason to come out here except for like right here. None at all. Those shots I took some of, like these ones right here. So like that shot and yeah. like this. If you keep going like yeah, it's, it's basically actually that's where it is. It's like it's way down there. Yeah. Like on that. Oh yeah, there's another spot I think. Coast. Yeah. I went like a half hour, kept driving. You like, serious? Yeah. Nothing out there? Nothing. Middle of nowhere? See, that's what I like to do, man. Just go on a cruise and just say, "Fuck it, man." Wherever the road takes us. Yeah. You yeah. know. Oh really? Oh shit. Like it ate up my Man, let me get the gimbal out, man. Get some shots, dude. Subi! I wonder if Costco's open, man. Get me some dollar fifty hot dogs and shit. <laughs> you know, have me a gourmet dinner. I got a whole bunch of toilet paper. I got a whole shitload.